Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ben Scully speaking to you from the Los Angeles Coliseum. Say, did you hear the news about what's happening in Brooklyn? We really got the blues about what's happening in Brooklyn. It ain't official yet. We hope official it don't get. But even with this going on, it was unthinkable that it would ever happen. We heard it, but 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 but, but it, it couldn't happen. It, it just could not happen. When the '57 season came about, and again they were playing games in Jersey City, and the solution of a new ballpark hadn't materialized yet, then it became a little more evident that hey, this could possibly. What do you think of the idea of the Dodgers moving to Los Angeles? I don't like the idea. How about the Dodgers moving to Queens? I don't like that idea either. Well, where would you rather see them if you had to choose between the two? I'd rather see them right here in Brooklyn. By the time the Dodgers played their last game at Ebbets Field in late September, callous indifference had set in. A 67-year run was ending, and only 6,200 people showed up to see the final act. Do you realize there weren't many fans there? Hardly any fans there. But we stayed out to say bye to them. And boy, there were more people crying than you could shake a stick at. Why did they do it? You say, ah, go on. I don't want to see you anymore. Go. We're done with you. When it became official in a press release on October 8th, 1957, it was the shot heard round the world all over again for Dodger fans. It happened. It's the first time you realize that something that you thought could never go is gone. There were no more Dodgers. There was no more nothing. People tried to explain it's business, this, that, and the other. When you're eight years old, you don't give a damn about business. You give a damn about where's Duke? Where's Carl Erskine? Carl Farrello? Clem LeBine? Where's Gil Hodges? And Los Angeles might as well have been Saturn. It was so far away. They left us. They left us. There's a bitterness that's never going to leave us because they never had to leave us. You know when we really knew they were gone? When they tore that place down. They had this wrecking ball, been painted white, and someone had put some simulated stitches on it, looked like a big baseball. They swung the ball over the visitor's dugout as many times as we had hated who was over there. When they dropped that ball, I got sick. I said goodbye and I left. 